Hey, bet. Oh, facts. Yep. Hopefully, I could um, y'all could hear me. I'm about to, I'm about to look at it. I ain't even turn the lights on and shit like that. I do got lights up in here, but like I ain't about to turn it on. I think this is fine. Let me just make sure y'all are good. No, nah, no, nah, I don't need the lights. Just make sure I'm live, bro. Just make sure I'm live. Like, that's it. Just make sure I'm live. I'm live? Y'all can hear me? Nah, fuck the light. All right. Okay, I'm live. Yeah, just turn that one light on, bro. Like, these niggas is bitching about nothing, nigga. I'm just trying to tell the truth. <clears throat> Yeah, just turn only that light on. That's all I need. Yeah. She want me looking bright as fuck. What the fuck? Nah, fuck that. Turn that off. Turn the other one on. <laughs> one over there. Well, I'm using this monitor. This monitor be fucked up. That one over there. Like right there. So plug that one in. Right there. Look at that, the, the, the yellow plug? Yeah. No. no, 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 no. Not right there. Right over there. You see that? Man, chat. Never mind, bro. Y'all good, bro. Y'all good, y'all good. Y'all good, y'all can hear me. <clears throat> no, no, we good, we good. Just watch out, please. Hey, chat. Uh, Real quick. Man, I just want to go live with y'all for, for a second, man. I just want to be very honest about, like, everything I got going on. Um, just and the only reason why I'm even going live about this and I, and everybody's just spam one in the chat if you can hear me one in the chat if you can hear me one in the chat if you can hear me at all um, I just want to make sure we can see and everybody can hear me one in the chat if you can hear me <clears throat> one in the chat if you can hear me I bet <clears throat> okay cool thank y'all all right chat I'm gonna keep it a being with y'all uh, chat so really. I'm going to just, just come clean with y'all. The reason why I was at my house like about 50 minutes ago. I had to speed here 200 miles per hour. I'm in the R7 going crazy. Probably broke every speeding law. But I got to leave the house when there's going to be a situation that's arising. Um, first and foremost, I'm dealing with somebody who, you know, I've been, you know, at first. And, and y'all going to hear a very multivariable story today because y'all going to, First, say, act, why have you been dealing with this? And the second thing you're going to say, act, you're an idiot. But I'm going to tell y'all why I've been dealing with this. This is somebody who I feel like I've been trauma bonded to a little bit because of a situation where people were trying to run into my house and I felt she was responsible for, you know, kind of making sure it didn't happen, even though, like, it was her own friend that set the whole thing up. But also, it's it's been a whole situation where, you know, despite that, over time, like, oh, y'all yeah, know I ain't shit. So I ain't going to be sitting here and pretending I'm perfect or whatever. I'm a person like there's always going to be a problem with infidelity with a nigga like me. I'm going to keep it a being with you. So I ain't never going to sit up here and be like, I'm the perfect, whatever, whatever. But we got a person who, despite whatever that comes with me or doesn't come with me, they feel like they could threaten me with things that they believe that I would hold dearly and I would not ever expose or say or want to be known. I'm just not that type of person, nor would I would ever sit here and allow people to hold things over my head. The moment, and by the way, this has been happening for months, and every time, like, you know what I mean, we never went public with it, but I've also told this person, like, hey, listen, if we're going to try to work this out, I'm not into people trying to hold in things against me or over my head. So whatever you think you could ever expose about me, I'm going to always say about myself. And they always back down this and third. Today, I felt like they crossed the line. I'll tell you what happened today. So today, you know, Troy Ave, he's actually, um, he signed to the academy. I gave him a six-figure deal. This is not my money. This is ain't, this ain't, this ain't backed by no iHeartMedia, none of that shit, nigga. This is my money. Like, I could use that money to do anything with. Just take the whole six figures and jerk my dick off when I could do whatever I want. But I want to start building my company. I see a lot of people building what they got going on. I want to build my company. Okay, I'm investing. Cool. Um, he's filming, by the way, salute to my man, Troy Avi. He's been doing an amazing job. What I mean, amazing job. Like he's been, he's a rapper. You know, he got his own clout in his own regard, but like, but my man been going dumb hard trying to create content. I got people on my staff, salute to Claudia. Claudia has been, been, well, actually you're in charge of show, show, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? We got other shows under the Academy. We're trying to build things. I'm working on even signing more people. This is, this is me. This is me like coming into this year. And I want to be very clear with all y'all. I came into this year. 
Like man, I I've been talking that rich shit for a long time. Y'all niggas know I've been up. I'm not no little nigga in the shit. Man, I came into this shit and I say, yo, bro, I've been making just for y'all to know, and I don't want to give out too many numbers, but nigga, it froze. Come on, let me see. Okay, anyway, 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 just to put in perspective, man, like, man, this year I came into the game, like, y'all heard me, I'm pretty honest with, like, everything I got going on. Man, I pledged a million dollars to expand my business. Like, you got to realize I'm a nigga who grows four or five million dollars guaranteed every year myself. I don't need nobody. I don't need one person. I, it's me alone. Four or five mil every year. I'm telling y'all the truth. Y'all could think I'm bragging. Y'all could think whatever. Give me all the facts about what's going on. I'm not like these niggas. I need 50 niggas. So I say, yo, okay, cool. If I'm making four or five mile my damn self, I could really ramp the bitch up. And I could really, especially after I did the Spotify thing, I said, I could really ramp this bitch up, invest some of the money, because I be gambling and losing a lot of money anyway. Let me invest some of the money and let's see what could really happen. So I, I, I took the money. And I said, I bet I'm going to put a million dollars into investing in new ventures. This is why I respect certain people who be really investing in their own shit. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, man, it's easy to say another nigga paying the bill, man. It's a difference when you got to pay the bill, when you got to send the wire, when you got to pay the motherfucking, when you got to sit there and file the motherfucking, like, you know, payroll and all that. Yeah, it's different, nigga, because you know what? Unlike other niggas, I keep telling y'all, I've been doing this really successful my damn self. Okay, cool. So I've been doing it this year. Anyway, I'm just trying to tell you how we led to this because, like, there's a whole other story, but I just want to tell you why, why I'm here today. Um, Troy Ave wanted me to come through. He said, yo, you know, Troy's a fly nigga. He's like, yo, I'm, I'm going to come in a suit because I want to do an award show, blah, blah. And I'm like, shit, I, I kind of want to be in with that with you type shit. But I'm like, I do got a few things I want to do. Plus, I got a streaming goal. I got a streaming goal of 200 streams per year or this year, actually. And I was like, ah, shit, I don't know if I could make the stream, whatever, whatever. Anyway, it was agreed upon that, yo, listen, if I don't make the the award show, which they're doing right now, they're filming as we speak. I say, yo, y'all could just call me. I'm going to give y'all, I got some content I could give y'all, like, I'm going to whatever, whatever, whatever. They call me today, and this is where we get into the situation where where you have, like, a woman with you who just, just don't understand life and just also just, she's a detractor more than she's an additive to what you got going on. So Troy called me. We talking about a bunch of stuff and I got this girl who I've been dealing with and I could say her name at this point because it's just like, yo, it's, it's no water on the bridge. It's just reality. I've been dealing with a woman named Cheyenne for the last two years. She's on the side of me and I'm talking to Troy on FaceTime. Bitch tugging on me like, yo, act, yo, show me, show me. I want to be seen. I'm like, yo, bro, chill out, bro. Like I'm over here talking to Troy. We live. I know they're recording live. We agree this is live. Show me. I'm like, yo, bro, chill. I'm like looking off, like mute myself. Yo, chill for a second. Like, by the way, y'all y'all probably have never noticed this. I'm on stream anytime she come in the room. I'm saying the same thing to her. Chill, bro. Like, yo, what's wrong with you? Like, just chill. Relax. Like, like the stream don't want to hear about me and you, my nigga. They came here to listen to me, my nigga. Like, calm down. Like, relax. But you got all these girls that got this main character syndrome, all that type of shit going on. So, She's tugging on me like, yo, show me, show me. Like, I want, like, people think you single. I'm like, bro, like, what's up with you? Again, I'm going to keep it real with you. I ain't come here to look pretty. I ain't come here to be the, be whatever y'all want to think. I came here to tell the truth. So y'all going to say a lot of things about me that I might agree. Yeah, I did some dumb shit. Because I, I even showed her. I'm like, shit, she fucking bugging me. I'm like, yo, all right, hey, look who I'm with. Blah, blah. She started getting, yo, yo, you better, you better. Be, like, she's shouting already. I'm like, yo, bro, chill, bro. Like, you know, we doing content. Anyway, Troy Av, like, you know, he's calling anybody. Troy Av don't, Troy Av don't know what's going on. He calling everybody. Troy Av then calls, um, calls Wack. Wack been online on, on No Jumper Show talking about, like, Blueface don't fuck my girl. Now, some of y'all who watch me know who my girl is. Like, like that's her. That, that would be the girl who, who would fit that mold or that title. 
But a lot of people really don't know who my girl is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, I'm not in a relationship type nigga like that. Some people actually think I'm still dating Selena, my nigga. Like, that's just really what it is. She over here, she now see what pop up on the joint. She going crazy, bad shit. Yo, what the fuck? So she like shouting at him, blah, blah, blah. Why can't even clarify to her, like, yo, yo, let me t- let me tell you the reality. Like, yo, Blueface said he fucked ex girl. I didn't say which girl, which is clear. This is like so easy and clear. He's basically saying, like, to me, I take it as it's just content. Blueface fucked my girl, but it's not it, like Whack himself is saying it's not the girl I'm with. I know Blueface said online, but it's not her, right? She's still wilding on me. I'm like, bro, like, yo, just chill out, my nigga. Like, bro, like, you could tell, like, Whack not even really on that. You was your woman to press him or some shit? Like, he not really on that. Any, anyway, long story short, she getting the feelings because now she's like, yo, you not going to press these niggas over me, this and third. Because, again, the main character syndrome. Shorty going to send pictures or really, like, weird things of me to niggas like Adam22 and Troy Ave. She's like, oh, I'm going to show these niggas that really I'm your bitch and I got pictures of you that nobody would want to see. And I'm like, this is why I'm even here. It's like, yeah, bro, like, what type of girl would do that? Like, if me and you locked in and you my bitch and, like, I've been giving you mad shit for two years, why would you ever send a nigga some weird pictures of me or even do anything like that? But then I realized I'm an idiot. I'm a sucker. I'm really, like, on some down bad shit for the story I'm finna tell you. So this is a girl who's been trying to hold things against me because she really believes that I am so much in fear of these things getting out. So first and foremost, I'm going to tell you all a few things, okay? And I could start with a bunch of things. About me and her relationship, but and I, I guess I can start. Let, let me look at the child. I'm gonna open the child. I could tell y'all we can start two ways. What she thinks that I am in fear of getting out, and number two, what she thinks that personally she might have on me. And by the way, she, th- th- both of them are kind of the same. Let me see what y'all niggas been saying. Somebody say yo. She holds zero power, yo. We're going to be here forever. She don't understand. Yo, she literally don't understand. Okay, so first and foremost, let me give you the biggest thing. I'm going to start it off first. I'm going to start it off first. And the reason why, and I'm going to be very honest with y'all, I never wanted to even bring this up because I'm a nigga really at, at this at this juncture for this story I'm about to tell you, I'm a victim. Nobody knows this story. And even I got my assistant sitting over there. She don't know the story. This is facts. But I never, like, I paid so much and I lost so much and I was the victim of this that when I seen a bitch who's supposed to be with me trying to hold shit against me that got nothing to do with me, bro, I've been looking at her different from a while ago. Like, yo, bro, like, are you serious? So let me tell y'all what it is. Shorty really thinks that I care that much or I am so scared of her telling y'all this. Here's what she's going to tell y'all. Or here's what she thinks is the thing. September of last year. Okay? September. Was it September of last year? Is it September or October? Or it might have been November. My bad. I don't, I don't know. September, October, and November of last year. I'm telling y'all the facts. Police raided my crib. They kicked my door off. My mama was at my crib. They only kicked my door off. In reality, my mama didn't know what was going on. So they were really knocking on the door. By the way, everybody knows, especially because this is after my break and I got 50 guns in my house. So really, when the police was coming, they were serving a search warrant. I'm going to tell you what it's all about. They were serving a search warrant. They know I got 50 guns. The town that I live in issued me 50 guns. I have them in my house. That's a fact. So when they're coming in, remember, they're serving a search warrant. They they, they got it in their computer system. They got 50 guns. We got to come in a little bit. They knocking on the door, whatever, whatever. My mama, who's upstairs with my dog, and then I'm downstairs. Like, I'm playing Fortnite, some shit. My mama don't know what's going on. They're asking her to open the door. My mama don't know. I remember the only thing my mama screamed out, she was like, like, she called me Junior because I got my same name as my father. She said, Junior, get the gun. Because she think, she heard the story. This is after niggas try to break in. So she's telling me, Yo, baby, like, yo, I think niggas is coming again. Like, get the gun. It wasn't that. It was the cops. I'm downstairs. I always have a gun with me in my house. I don't care. I sleep with a gun under my pillow 
every time I sleep with two guns. Anybody know me? If y'all go to my crib, there's guns galore. Cool. I see it, and by the way, my, on my phone, it pops up. It pops up that the police is outside, and I see them because I got secure. I got cameras everywhere. My mama don't know how to work the shit in my crib. Like it's my crib, nigga. She don't know how to work it like that. So I seen it anyway. I put my gun away because I seen it was the police. By the time I walk upstairs, the police kicked my door down. By the way, these are expensive doors. I live in a mansion. It's a $2 million house. These doors cost me $25,000. They kicked my door down. The reason they kicked it down, when they're telling and shouting for my mom to open the door, my mama don't open the door because she's like, what the fuck is going on? Bet. They come in, tell everybody to get down. We all get down. They put us in cuffs. By the way, Cheyenne is there too. And this is what she thinks is some shit that she can hold against me. They put everybody in cuffs. I'm in cuffs. Even my mama is in cuffs. We're all sitting there. What's going on? I'm like, I'm still wondering, like, what's going on? I'm like, yo, what's up with y'all? Like, what's good? Nobody tells me nothing. Anyway, they asked me if I want to go down to the station. I'm like, I still, I really have no idea what's going on. I do go down to the station. Bro, I go down to the station and I get, I, I get kind of really what they're doing. Okay? So I'm going to make a long story short, but this is the reason why my house got raided. And this is, this is going to be a lesson to all y'all. If y'all watch me and y'all watch me talk about all these stories, I've been trying to give y'all these insights without telling y'all that I've been through some shit. They raided my house. Because, I, so there was a woman that came to my house. That woman claimed she was sexually assaulted. Not by me, by other people. But it happened in my house. I'm going to tell you why they raided my house. Shorty, I should even tell a whole full story. Let me just tell a full story. Let me tell a full story. And, and I'm going to tell you exactly why the cops came. But a shorty I'm dealing with, she comes over. She comes over, right? No, actually, and this is why you're going to keep hearing her say, because she don't know the real story. The, 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 so one day, yeah, I know I work a lot. One day I'm like, I tell my niggas, I say, yo, I want to get drunk today. And my nigga, Adri uh, um, Antonio Brown invited me to a pool party. I tell my niggas to even drive my cars. I say, yo, drive my car. I'm about to get drunk. That's how you know I'm definitely about to get drunk. Because I'm like, yo, I'm telling niggas drive my car. Anyway, I go to the party. Um... It's like a day party type shit. Antonio Brown, we there. He performing, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm already drunk. There's a girl texting me that I haven't seen in a year. She says she want to come through. Cool. I said, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yo, we're going to leave the party around 8, blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. You can come through. I'm going to send you a lift. I swear I got so drunk. By the time I leave the party, I my niggas drove me home. Or I think we went to Wendy's and we went home. By the time I'm so fucking drunk, when I get home, I go to my, I go, I walk, and I am swear this is the whole story. I promise you, I can't lie. This is why I can't believe a bitch I really laid with and I really trust and I bought everything in the fucking world would ever even try to play with me like this. Cause she, I've told her the story because low key, yes, that was me cheating on her. Like me and her fell out, she went back home and I went to a party and I hit up another bitch. Yes, the other chick came over, I'm mad drunk. Yo, I'm drunk at a party. I come home. Yo, I'm so drunk. I ain't drive my own car. I walk upstairs to where my master bedroom's at and I fall out. This is what I'm, uh, y'all gonna see what the lesson is in this. Yo, I just pass out. I forgot I Ubered a bitch to my crib. I forgot, nigga, I'm drunk. My nigga, 4 a.m. comes. Remember, I'm, I'm at my crib at nine. 4 a.m. comes. I'm knocked out. 4 a.m. comes. My homie, I never see the girl. I never see her. My homies wake me up on some shit like, yo, act. We leaving. I'm like, oh, shit, damn. I was fucked. Like, damn, I'm fucked up type shit. Like, yo, I've been sleeping. He, they're like, yo, lock the door because we're leaving. I said, damn, y'all leaving? They're leaving at like 4 or 5 a.m. I bet. I go and I go lock the door. Then they say to me when I'm locking the door, they say, oh, by the way, that girl you invited, yo, she down there and the other end of your house in the guest bedroom. I look at them and I said, what girl I invited? They said, bro, remember you invited a girl. 
Nigga, I'm so confused because I was at a party with, with Antonio Brown, nigga. I'm macking it, nigga. Like, got all these bitches, they all on me and shit, type shit. I'm like, please, but them bitches was ugly. No, no disrespect. I'm just telling you how the story out of this. I'm like, no way I invited one of them girls at the party back to my crib. Them girls was bust. No way. They was like, no, nigga. Remember the girl you, I said, what are you talking about? They said, yo, you know so-and-so. And they described myself. Oh, shit. Anyway, they leave. I go, I, I walk down the hallway. I walk down the hallway. <laughs> nigga, I'm a, uh, by the way, for shorty who thought she was going to hold this against me, I'm going to always tell the truth that I don't care what nobody says. And by the way, what I'm going to tell y'all is something that could happen to any nigga. And by the way, y'all know what y'all going to say to me. Like, I should be my homies and shit like that. I'm a sucker for that too. We going to talk about it. Anyway, so I go down the hallway to my guest bedroom and I see the girl. And I said, oh shit. But I noticed this couple things. First of all, she naked. Second of all, her hair is like like frizzy and shit like that. This is the summertime. Like, almost like she kind of went in the pool type shit. I got a pool, like it's a big ass pool. Anyway, I'm like, yo, what's good with you? Like, I'm waking her up type shit. I'm like, yo, you sleeping? Like, what's up? Anyway, I go downstairs. She kind of realized I'm there. She wakes up. She come downstairs. She was telling me about some other shit she wanted to get me with. Like, this is before I was really on Afrobeast. Like, I don't want to dox her neither because she ain't, she, she know what it is. She ain't never say no weird shit. This is why it's so crazy that this is the girl that I've been, and I really, I think it's because she mad because I cheated on her type shit. It's her trying to use this against me. It's not the girl that was really in it. So anyway, that girl woke up. And by the way, you know, I hate to tell this part because it's going to make her look crazy. And that's why I, would, I, I refuse to give out that girl's name. Okay, so she, um, so it's the nighttime, whatever, whatever. Um, I remember saying like, damn, what was y'all doing when I was sleeping type shit? She was like, oh shit, now nah, we were just having fun, blah, 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 blah. Now granted, this is a girl who I've been dealing with for a couple years. I've messed with her for years. Um, when she came over that time, she had told me she was like a dancer, some shit like that. You know what I mean? And I remember, and I don't know if maybe my niggas took it the wrong way, because I remember she had told me she was like, yo, the girl you used to know, like I'm on my like I'm on some bad girl vibes now, type shit. Like basically she be like doing her thing. And I remember I told him, I'm like, yo, oh, this is before when I was going to the party, I was like, yo, I'm about to get this girl coming over later for me. But she, she tell me she on some different vibes. I don't know if that's what they took. And, and, and I can't really speak to other niggas thing. I can only speak to myself. All right, bet. Cool. We're in the morning now. We're in the morning. And once the morning happened, and I remember even that night, like that night when she woke up, I went in my backyard and I'm like, something don't look right back here. I'm like, yo, what's up? Like, what was y'all doing when I was sleeping type shit? Because I know, like, if you, nigga, I live in my crib dolo, nigga. Like, don't get no ideas, but dolo, nigga. Like, nigga, I know when my, I know the, the chair, the tan is right there. I know this is right there. And I'm like, I go in the backyard. I'm like, why this is over there? Why this is over there? This shit don't make no sense. So I, I asked her, and she was like, nah, we were just having fun type shit. That's what she told me tonight. In the morning, I got to let my dog out. So I go let Pluto out. And when I go let Pluto out, I'm now outside standing. I'm like looking around. I'm like, man, this shit don't look right. Here's the thing. I got cameras everywhere in my crib. And this is this is the reason why y'all don't realize the raid. Yeah, this is the raid. The cameras. And this is like, I'm telling y'all now that y'all can hear the whole story. But so now I'm sitting there. This is the morning. I'm looking around. I'm like, what the fuck? I know my backyard. Something ain't right. She's telling me they were just chilling, having fun, waiting for me type shit. But I'm sleeping, and I'm sleep from like 9, 8, 9 p.m. since I got in the crib, and they don't wake me up till 4 a.m. That's how many hours? Seven hours. Okay. Anyway, remember, for when she told me the night before, I'm believing it. But the day, but, but in the morning, I'm looking around when I'm letting Pluto. I'm like, son, don't sound right. I go on my, I, I go on my, I go on my, my, my camera. I go to my, my, my DVR. I, I'm looking what's going on. Gang. This is facts, and I'm not trying to make her look crazy, and I'm not trying to put her in no type of weird position. This is just reality. Brother, this is a girl who I've been dealing with for like two years on and off. We were not steadily, like we, we were like, you know, hang out, hang out, hang out, not really hang out, hang out, hang out, hang out, not really hang out, that type of shit. You feel me? She ain't, She she's actually a, like a really good girl. Like she's a girl who kind of gives like really nice energy, like not one of them like sexy red type children, like not to disrespect her either. When I look at my camera in the morning, gang, the shorty was getting 
Like I, I don't even I don't even like the, the, She was getting trained by my two mans Like on my pool deck The night before when I'm sleeping I'm dead ass this would happen Nigga I couldn't believe it I'm like what Nigga I invited you over here I paid a lift The lift was like 200 bucks Nigga she lived I don't even want to say where she lived I'm like what How could you come to my joint And get trained by my mans While I'm sleeping Now this is where I'm going to be honest with you Men, y'all gonna learn this lesson from me. And, and, and this is sincere. Men, I want y'all to learn this lesson from me. And I will say this and tears might come in my eye when I say this to you. You could get penalized for being a good guy. I never knew nothing was ever going on. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. So when I seen this shit, I'm kind of offended. I'm like, damn, when I talked to her last night, she ain't never told me. And when I and, and, and this morning, I feel a certain type of way. So I go down to where I usually play Fortnite and she come down and like she like covered up and she was just like, yo, last night was fun. Like she was kind of like mad jovial about like what happened the night before. But I feel a way because I've seen it on my camera. I said, yo, you just got trained by my mans. I called you like I sent the shit for you to come here. Why'd you? OK, bet. I ain't say nothing to her first. We then go upstairs to my kitchen. And she's still acting like ain't nothing happened. So I, I'm kind of throwing a little hints to there. I'm like, yo, I'm like, damn, I'm like, y'all can't believe y'all ain't wake me up type of shit last night. Like, what, uh, what happened? You know what I mean? She was like, nah, we were just having fun, blah, 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 blah. And now I'm feeling disrespected because I'm like, yo, does she not know that I, I seen this shit? Like, but so, so I asked her one question, and this is facts, facts, my nigga. I said, do you know, I, I said, any, everything you did last night, right? I said, you wanted to do, right? Because, you know, j just off like, because she's acting like nothing happened. And I'm like, everything you wanted to do, right? And she said to me, yeah, I had fun. Everything was cool. I I'm a little tight. And by the way, y all, y all, some of y'all going to hear the story and be like, act you cause this on yourself. Because maybe y'all can say tender dick or whatever, because I could just said nothing and I would have never been in these problems. Because sometimes when a girl is intoxicated or whatever she is, bro, sometimes it's you shaming her that calls her to do some shit, nigga. So she's like, nah, everything is cool. But I'm feeling the way because I'm like, really came to my crib and just fuck my niggas and really think I don't know type shit. Like, so I said, I said, I said, damn. I said, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm like, yo, y'all made a motion video last night, man. I, in reality, I said, y'all got a whole video of, of, of whatever happened. And she was like, what are you talking about? She's, I, I still think she playing dumb. I'm like, I said, bro, you know, it's all good. I ain't even tripping. I'm like, I, I'm just trying to make sure, yo, you good, whatever you did last night. And, you know, I ain't think you was that type of girl, but fuck it. It's cool. She was like, why are you acting like that? Because now I'm acting distant. She's like, yo, why are you acting like that? I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting mad now Because now I'm thinking like Yo you're playing with me You're acting like I don't know You're acting like Bro this is my house I told I tell everybody When they come to my house Every video Every audio is recorded Nigga I got more cameras In my house Than the motherfucking casino bro So I'm like Alright bet So I, I tell him like Yo really I'm like Yo it's cool bro Like I see you, you Fuck my niggas type shit She said Nah I never fucked your niggas Really Bro you did No I didn't she was like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I probably got naked and, like, twerk for them, but I ain't never fuck them. Already I'm thinking, like, I know you lying now because you're admitting to get... First of all, why would you even get naked for my niggas? <laughs> if you came for me, you don't know them niggas for a Whatever, cool. I bet. So I show her, I'm like, yo, bro, you don't gotta lie to me. It's cool. Like, I get it. Like, we, like, this is the first time I seen her, like, in a year. I said, you don't gotta even lie to me. Nigga, I even show, I show her on my phone. I said, bro, look, right there. She got another excuse. She said, oh, nah. So it was a video of her naked in my pool, bent over by the, the, the deck. And then one of my niggas got his dick out. Like, pause. I'm sorry. I've got to give you all the details. But I keep telling you, somebody can't ever put dirt on my name without me telling the truth. So I said, bro, like, look at this right here. She was like, uh, uh, like, at first, she was like, uh, uh. Yeah, he might have took his dick out. Like, I think he rubbed his dick on my pussy, but I never... I'm like, yo, bro, you really lying to me right now. So I ain't even gonna hold you. Nigga, I scrolled in the video. Nigga, I got the video in my shit. I scrolled in. I said, bro, here's a video of him fucking you. Then I scrolled again. I said, here's a video of him fucking you and you sucking off my other mans. Oh, what? What? 
Now, now, the, now the story changed. The story now becomes, oh, uh, oh, oh, what? Oh, I didn't know that. When well, she apologetic, she's like, yo, you got to believe me. Like, yo, I, like, I would have never did that. Like, yo, shit, I'm so sorry. I would have never disrespected you like that. Like, yo, I came here for you, this and third. Anyway, my mama had to come that day, like on some real shit. I ain't even bullshit. My mama was coming to my crib. So it's not only like, usually when that girl comes to my crib, she stays a couple of days. Like, I ain't even bullshit. She usually come stay a couple of days, bring clothes. But my mama was coming that day, so it wasn't because I was salty. And, you know, if y'all don't believe that, y'all believe that. But that's really what it was. So I told her, I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, yo, you gotta go, yo. So she's looking at me like, damn. And she said this. She said, damn, yo, you mad cold with me right now. She's like, usually you get me breakfast and shit. Like, why are you so cold? And I'm like, nah, my mama got, come in here like, yo, you got to go. Bro, she's automatically, like, looking at me like, oh, shit. Oh, you really think it? So she's apologizing like, yo, I, believe me, I'm not that type of girl, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, and, I, and we're going to get to the raid. I call her car. She leaves. She calls me in the car. She says, yo, I'm sorry. I don't want you ever think I'm that type of girl. I came there to hang out with you. Like, and she even said this verbatim. Why would I come there and fuck your friends and not you? Like, why would I come there and fuck them f instead of fucking you? Like, like, come on, like, does it make sense? Like, now, this is her apologizing. Cool. When she gets home, and I'm going to be honest with you, this is the, I think, I promise, I, I, honestly, to this day, I, I still think I fucked up by doing this. Because I'm shaming her now. I'm shaming her. I said to her, I said, yo, I'm going to keep it a being with you, bro. And you came to my house and had two niggas just fuck you raw. I ain't seen no condom, no nothing. I told her, I said, yo, you should go get tested, man. Like, you done. I said, that's why, yo, you should go get tested, bro. And from that moment, she started, like, because she the denial shifted. And she kept, like, trying to, like, pivot on the denial to, yo, nah, send me the video Yo, I'm pretty sure I didn't fuck him. And I'm like, bro, you fucked him. And she's like, no, 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 look again. And now I'm getting super tight because I'm like, bro, I'm not about to watch this video of you getting fucked, my nigga. Like, it's on my surveillance. Like, bro, like, I was fucking with you. Like, what? you want me to watch the video of you getting fucked? Cool. She keeps saying that, whatever, whatever. She then tells me, by the way, I, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm gonna keep it a being with, about everything. My homies did not tell me they fucked her. At that point, I only seen on my security camera. My homies did not tell Remember, they woke me up that night. Yo, let, let us out. Let's, let us out the crib uh, or lock the crib. They did not tell me they fucked the bitch that came for me. They never told me that. You know when, when that conversation happened? Shorty now says to me, Shorty now says to me, um, yo, I'm gonna keep it keep it a bean with you. Like, I really don't believe I would really do that. I'm not that type of person. Yo, you're right. I should go get tested. Remember, I, I told her to get tested, right? I think, and that's why I said, like, maybe I fucked up by, like, because now I'm making her seem nasty, right? Like, yo, go get tested. What the fuck? She said, yeah, I'm gonna get tested. And, yo, you know, I'm gonna get a rape kit. I tell her, I'm like, nigga, I'm like, yo, Yo, get a rape kit. Like, so good. Like, yo, whatever. I said, whatever you got going. But she keep asking me, like, yo, could, like, are you sure what happened after this? How did both of the guys get there instead of one? Because I remember talking to him, but I remember the other guy. And I'm like, bro, I'm not watching this. So now I'm getting, I'm getting defense. I ain't watching that shit no more, gang. I'm not watching this shit. Okay. That's the last time I talked to her. The next time I talked to her, she asked me one random day, like three days later. Yo, could I get your friends' names and numbers? Bro, you still trying to, like, I say, yo, you fucked them. You can't get their name and number? Why the fuck you need me to get their name and number? I don't know. Like, come on, bro. Why you keep asking my niggas you don't fucked? Yo, could I get their names and numbers? Bro, I say, you know, because she keep wanting to say, I want to know what exactly what happened. Do you sure nobody used the condom? I said, bro, from the video I seen, I ain't seen them niggas use the condom type shit. By the way, here's the thing. And, I keep, and for the guys who's watching, this is what being a good guy gets you. Because I could have acted like nothing happened. I could have just chalked it to the game, which I probably should have and be like, that's a girl. You know how girls are. Yo, I've thought about this a million times. I really think that me making her feel some shame made all this happen. Because... The day after, when she walked up to me, she said she had fun. And I'm the one feeling the way like, bro, you have fun fucking other niggas, bro. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. Being a good guy, cut that shit out, man. Don't help no, like, bro. If it don't got to do with you, man, let everybody get out of the mud. Fuck that shit. So anyway, 
she keep asking. Send, she said, yo, I want to see the video. I'm, I keep telling her, I'm not going to keep watching a video where you're fucking my friends. You were supposed to be fucking with me. Okay. She asked me for my, my friend's names or whatever. I said, yo, you know what? I'm going to give you my man's number. I said, whatever you want to know about that night, he fucked you, you go talk to him. Y- y'all go talk. Okay? All right. When I get home, I was coming from my studio. And when I get home, 20 minutes after I get home, that's when the raid happens. My mama screaming. She she's saying, "Get the gun." I'm looking on my shit. I could see his police. I put my gun away. I locked the other way gun, guns away. They put me, my mom, Cheyenne, in cuffs. They bring me down to the station. I don't know at this point. I don't know what it's about. They're asking me about the situation. Yo, what's whatever blah blah blah. blah. Let me tell you why they did the raid and why they did the search warrant on my crib. And this is another thing. Yo, after that, bro, like even to this day, right now, I, I pay $4,000 for an apartment I don't go to. I got an apartment right now I do not go to because I refuse to bring people back to my crib. I'm going to tell you why. The reason why they did that search warrant, the reason why they kicked the door off my, 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 my fucking, they kicked my door off. Well, obviously, my mom didn't open the door. It was just did what they had to do. But they kicked it off because they felt like my mom, you know, like a stalling or some shit. The reason why they did that is because Shorty went to the cops and the cops reading and listening to her side of the story. They're saying, oh, yeah, Shorty got R worded. Academics got the tape. It's at his house, but he don't want to give up the tape. So that's their whole mentality. Act don't want to give up the tape. Everything is on my house is documented on tape. So they kicked my door off, took all my cell phones, took my DVR, and then they bring it down to the station. Also, here's the thing. Everybody knows me in my, like, like where I'm from. I'm like the popular nigga in my town. So now they bring it down there. Nigga, they even called me. I said, uh, like, because at first I was so bewildered. I didn't even know what was going on. By the way, I get, like, and I'll tell you the truth. This is facts. My nigga, I'm a, I'm a rich nigga, expensive nigga. My nigga, I spent a hundred thousand. I, I got a hundred thousand dollar retainer on a lawyer, and I, and I never got charged with nothing. But they serve a search warrant on my crib, so they serve a search warrant and they, they they interrogated me. So I got the best lawyer known to man. I get that lawyer. We're trying to figure out what's going on. They're like, oh, we're investigating this sexual assault. Alleged sexual assault. Long story short, and this is why Shorty, who thinks she got something over my head, bro, it's clear as day on tape. You feel me? Matter of fact, I, I still think the, the the county got my DVR because I just got a new DVR. Um, by the way, they sent me all type of shit like, yo, act you good, like nothing, nothing with you, like you're straight. And here's the thing, my friends who's on the tape fucking the girl, they didn't get charged. It was like, yo, hey, listen, there isn't enough evidence that showcased that you didn't want to fuck them. So the niggas didn't get charged. They raided my crib because it happened. And, and, and this is what the lesson I was trying to tell niggas. Bro, don't inv- yo, I'm Yo, remember when I was talking to Kostanat about his shit? Nigga, you know this shit before then, right? This is why I had so much knowledge about it. I was that nigga that says everybody come to me because I'm the rich nigga with the big house. Y'all all come party at my spot. Nigga, nowadays, nigga, you're not partying my spot for shit, nigga. Let's go to your shack. You're not partying my spot. You know what happens? Because every time when I close my eyes and I go to sleep, if somebody slips, somebody fall, something happens, they're going to put my address and I'm the owner of the crib and I'm supposedly liable. So the, the, the ending of that story is they had the, they, 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 so they, they took all the shit from the crib Nigga had to buy new doors. The new doors, nigga, I live in a mansion. I don't like live wherever I live at. I think I, it's twenty five thousand dollars for my new doors that I had to buy. Facts. So I paid a hundred thousand for lawyers, twenty five thousand for lawyers, under twenty five thousand for doors. Mad other money for other miscellaneous shit because now I'm being inconvenienced. You feel me? I give like I'm like like shit. You know, act, act, act is a cooperate. I'm helping them niggas with everything. They hit me saying, hey, yo, there's a password on the DVR. Nigga, here's the password. Go get it. Yo, they, at, then they were like, oh, we can't get in your phone. Oh, 
I'll come in with my lawyer and we'll open the phone. Nigga, open the phone. Yo, there's nothing there. Bro, nobody gets charged, right? The case, there is no case because there is like literally, they basically, they even sent out a letter to everybody. They said, yo, yeah, we did an investigation. There's nothing there. Okay? Oh, the fuck. And that's what this bitch really thinks she's holding against me. Nobody got charged. No case. Nothing happened. I am the person who's in the middle of this because shit happened at my house. I don't want to bring up or I want to say nothing about the young woman because she knows initially I was the person who she didn't even like, according to what she's saying, she didn't even knew no shit happened that night. And I brought it to her attention. Like, yo, bro, I think you should go get tested. Like, shit, I see what I seen on the camera. Like, you, you gotta get tested. Bro, how you think you about to hold that against me, nigga? I ain't do a motherfucking thing. Oh, but I get it. Like, she's now looking at what everybody got going on. Oh, if people hear something about sexual assault, nigga. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, they raided my crib because something happened at my house. I live in a mansion and I used to invite mad people over. I invite nobody over now. I'm sorry. This is why when I meet y'all regular random people, I'm like, oh, let's go to your house. <laughs> let's not. I've learned my lesson. I used to be like, nigga, people used to be in my crib, like in the pool, doing all type of shit. Nigga, you, my house, used to, I used to look at my house as a bachelor pad. I used to tell people, I say, yo, I spent two mil on this crib just to go get, like, get my ex out of my system, get popping and have fun. And then I'm going to get another crib when it comes time to a family. Nah, I can't invite people over no more. I can't like, and even like friends and families, like if I'm not there, I don't want y'all there respectfully. So that's what she thinks she got against me. Cool. So I got that story out of the way. Hold on. Let me um just open up the chat in case anybody got any questions about that. Because that's the thing she thought was like this big thing. Hey, we're going to say that the police raided your crib when you were asleep and a girl claimed she got R worded in your crib. Come on, bro. Huh? I don't care. Where we at? Oh, we, we don't. You, we're on where? Oh, okay, 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 I bet. Cool. And, 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 and chat, like, I, I know y'all gonna say that. I ain't gonna lie, like, I only wanna get into the homies conversation, bro. Like, like, bro, let's just deal with one situation at a time, bro. Like, I'm just telling you what happened. It's just it's just so shocking that Shorty just thought that she could hold this over my head. Like, but like, why do you think that I wouldn't like the only reason you know the only reason I never told this? Because I paid a hundred thousand to a lawyer to handle this situation. That an accusation because at first they were like, the cops was like, we don't know what happened. And nigga, I'm told I'm telling the cops. Nigga, they ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah, shit happened at my crib. And they're like, well, it's your crib. Why didn't, they're bringing up all type of issues. Why didn't you give, she asked you for the security tape. Why didn't you give it to her? And I said, I'm talking to them, nigga, in an interrogation room, nigga. I said, bro, are you fucking kidding me? You think that, I didn't know this shit happened. She's, she's telling me, give me the video of me fucking your friends. Or she's telling me, explain to me what happened at this part when I'm fucking your friends. You think I want to sit there like, oh, no, yeah, you caught your leg back up right here. Oh, shit, nah, you were bopping your head right. Nah, nigga. I told her no, nigga. And I ain't trying to do that. But when the cops seen that, the cops said, oh, Ack is hiding evidence. Anyway. So that's really the biggest thing. And you know what I mean? Monkey off my back. Whatever y'all want to say about it. Um, you know, let's establish facts. There was nobody ever charged. Ever. Yes. That incident in question happened at my house. Yes. I was sleeping. Yes. I did feel away because I'm like, damn, a shorty, like, you know what I mean? It wasn't my girl, but I'm like, yo, damn, this shorty, like, yo, how you gonna come to my I sent you to Uber. How you gonna fuck my homies? <laughs> like, that's crazy. Okay. All right. Um, bet. Cool. Now, now, what else this person think they got over over a real nigga like me? Okay. Oh, let's get to the Spotify shit. This chick really think that on some stupid shit. Oh, I'm gonna tell people I got I got the letter from Spotify saying we're ending 
their dealings with you. Bro, I signed a two year with a one option um, with Spotify. It wasn't making sense for our business on how we were going along. I stopped providing the necessary episodes. They were paying up to a certain point, And then at a certain point, my lawyer, my agent got notice from them that they're saying, yo, you either got to produce mad more episodes or we're going to terminate. They terminated. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I don't know what bitch really thinks she can hold some shit against me. I gladly said, hey, and you notice I ain't slander Spotify at all. Bro, I can't do like four episodes a week with some. Nah, I ain't about to do that shit. We got into mad conversations about quantity versus quality. Like my lawyer is telling me, act, just put out anything. Just sit there and talk. Nah, I ain't about to do that. I'm sorry. I'm not no broke ass bitch ass nigga. I'm sorry. We, I told him, I said, y'all got to renegotiate the shit, elongate the term, that it could be some shit that I could do. I'm not about to sit here and put out any type of content, my nigga. Okay. That didn't happen. We, we completed the years they had to pay me for, two years. They said, hey, listen, we would have extended for another year, but we're not. You probably already knew that, but we're telling you why you didn't provide or you weren't providing us enough episodes. Okay. Okay, my nigga, the fuck? I don't care. <laughs> I got my millions off y'all. Y'all got y'all content out of me, but y'all just not going to get me to water down my shit while I'm trying to appease y'all. I'm sorry. Hey, we did what we did. I still love y'all. I still fuck with Spotify. I'm moving on. They're moving on. I'm okay. Why this bitch in... in by the way... You, you know where this girl thinks she has some leverage? She be going through my emails and all that type of shit, nigga. I'm at my crib sleeping. She sucks some dick. I fall asleep. She run through, try to get in my emails. Oh, let me see if I can find out something about you. Like, what? Before we even got here, she was like, yo, I'm going to tell the world. I'm going to tell the world, oh, you're not a millionaire. Gang. You see my TD account, nigga, with $400,000. Nigga, I got tens of millions in motherfucking stocks and bonds. Nigga, the fuck is you talking about? But this is what this woman really thinks she got over a nigga. She want to be in your bank account. She want to be in every single thing about you. Now, let me tell you, this is going to be the most egregious thing, I swear. This is going to be the most egregious thing. And if anybody, and if she actually denies this, I got all the proof. I could have had this woman in jail for 40 years. Are y'all listening to me? For 40 years. This is how forgiving I am. And this is why y'all going to call me a simp and I'm going to take it. Chat. There was a point. I don't. I don't know more. So for all y'all niggas who think y'all got it, y'all just gonna come get a different result. There was a time I used to have a million dollars cash in my crib. That's a fact. Do you know this bitch stole half a million dollars from me? Cash, bro. I had them in safes and all type of shit. Nigga, I'm not checking the money all the time. I had money just sitting there. I gamble, nigga. When I gamble, I pick money up cash. When Shorty moved to Houston, like, whatever, you know, we, like, broke up or whatever. Not really peeping shit. Nigga, I got a million dollars in cash. A million. <laughs> Not talking about 50, a million. <laughs> One day, I get a new money counter. I said, let me try my new money counter and I get into the band. So I, I, I like count my money and wrapping the bands around them shits. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're not like that. I'm sorry. So I'm counting my money. My nigga, I had a million. I remember I had a million. Now I might have given my mom like 30 grand here. I might have, but I should have like definitely over like 950. Nah, definitely about 100. 900 thou. I count my money. I got $400,000. I'm confused. I'm like, what? This shit don't make sense. What the fuck? I got 400,000. Now, and that's a lot of money, but I'm like, what the 400,000? What the fuck? Where my money goes? So now I'm thinking about, I do got some wild spending habits. What the fuck? Let me tell you how I figured this shit out, chat. This woman has been arrested once or twice or whatever. Because of her actions in my crib. 
By the way, the last month, in the last 30 days, the police literally, she was naked, took her out, had to bring her to some mental asylum. She was like butt booty naked because she's, um, first of all, she's drunk. Now, let me explain something about Cheyenne. Cheyenne is someone who's a victim of my lifestyle. I've been drinking for 10 years straight every day, every day since college, every day. If you were around me, if you were a chick that get in my, my lifestyle, it's going to be intoxicating. You know why? You probably don't got to work. And I start drinking at about 8.22 a.m. It's very intoxicating. I'm sorry. Now, her problem is that she doesn't have a limit. She doesn't know how to stop. She doesn't know how to chill. She doesn't know, hey, this is too much. So the last time when she got like... She drank a whole bottle of Casamigos. Like, like even now at my crib, because she was at my crib. I don't even know. She's probably at my crib right now trying to break shit. Who knows? At my crib, I got a high, I got a whole bar. I got a whole big ass bar. I got a high bottles of liquor because she'll drink so much till she's an intoxicated face. She was so intoxicated when the police brought her out. They had to bring the the, the um the EMT people in, look, yo, she locked herself in my crib. They had to kick my door down again because she wouldn't open my doors. I seen her in the crib. She's mad drunk. She grabbed a big, long knife. I said, I ain't letting the bitch cut my throat. I'm leaving. I'll walk out the crib. She locked every door. And then the police come. And based on what her mom and I told her, what, uh, told him what happened, they said, we can't leave until we do a wellness check to make sure she didn't kill herself or some shit like that. She wouldn't open the door. They kicked my fucking door down again. Who's paying for it? You're right. I'm a bozo. I get it. So this person got a real bad alcohol problem. I got to hide alcohol from them. Let me get to the, the, the money that she stole. The, re, the way I found out she stole the money. She goes to Houston. Immediately, she buys a $140,000 car. She gets an apartment. Oh, I'm right over the Toyota Center. Okay. Now, granted, I'm a very generous guy when I'm dealing with my girl. She ain't no broke girl. Just off the fact she with me. But when I realized, now I realize I, lo I, 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 I misplaced the money. I said, what the fuck? I start going back to the dates where she's leaving my crib. So there's been multiple dates where her parents had to come drive up from Virginia, come get her ass because she's wilding or the cops had to evict her. Like the cops has been to my crib like 40 times, nigga. And they all come there and like the cops is already on 10 with her. Like, yo, bro, you don't live here. At first, you used to be people like, oh, no, I get mail here. The cops is like, yo, this is Axe Crib. Get the fuck out, my nigga. Stop playing with the nigga, bro. Like the cops even know what type of time it is. One of the times when her mom come up because she's a woman and whatever, whatever, I used to just like when, when she's like, oh, I need to go get my stuff that I could leave. I would just go in the corner, let her and her parents or whoever walk through my crib and go get her stuff. What I didn't know is that my stupid ass, she knew the combination. This is, this is a chick to like, yo, this chick is like mad, just inquisitive. She know she knew the combination. I got eight safes in my crib. She knew the combination of every one of them bitches, bro. I, I swear I didn't know, bro. I swear I didn't know this. Nigga. So what I realized, and this is how I, I found it, and I caught her in the act. And, I, and I'm going to tell you, how, I did get the money back. I did get the money. I'm going to tell you how I get it back. When she in, 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 um, she's in um, Houston, she started doing all type of thought shit. She hits me back up. And after, you know, because remember, she has an alcohol problem. She goes down there, blackout, whoring out, walling, realizing that's not sustainable. Nobody taking it serious. She's trying to come back. She's also like, bro, she don't got no job, but she got like, $20,000 a month in bills. It's shit looking bad. She come back. My stupid ass, of course, I'm like entertaining it. She give me access to her ring camera in Houston. So I kind of have it. But remember, I just found out my, my money got stolen. So I'm like, what the fuck? 
I'm not even thinking it's her. I'm really thinking all type of different shit. Anyway, when I kind of get the inclination it's her, I'm like, when was the, I'm, I'm trying to like mark the date the last time I counted it, because I remember it was a mill. I'm like, what the fuck? I get the date. I figure out what happened afterwards. I said, oh, she was here then, then she left then. I said, nah, she ain't gonna steal no fucking money from me. Like, nigga, I leave tens of thousands of dollars around all the time. Like, she wouldn't, like, why would she just steal? But still, it is half a million. But even I'm like, she don't even know my, my safe combination. Okay. When I looked at her camera, her ring camera that's in her kitchen in Houston, Right after she just moved or she just left, one of them, like she leave, come back, leave. Home. She, she brought out a bunch of shit. She took my money in socks. I, I count my money and I put them in $50,000 wads. It was in big socks that she put them in. And when I looked at the camera in Houston, out the sock, 50,000, out the sock, 50,000 out the sock, 50,000. She put the money in her safe. Now, here's the thing. The same detective who was working when, when niggas was trying to run in my crib, they already, like, I started contacting them. You got to realize my money, I don't get illegal money. I'm not no, I'm not no drug dealer, no nothing like that. My money comes from a casino if I ever got cash. When you get money from a casino, a casino is like a financial entity. They got serial numbers and they usually are sequential. It's very easy to track. I'm not getting $5. I'm getting 200,000. Yes, that's easily trackable. I go to the cops because I go to the cops first. And it, it, to make a long story short, man, the cops is basically asking me info for, for them to lock her ass up. Like, yo, just give us info. Like, we'll just lock her up because, nigga, if she is in control, that's a federal crime. Like, first of all, it's half a million dollars. Anyway, I confront her on the phone. I say, yo, Cheyenne, I'm going to keep it a being with you, yo. I don't know what's going on with you or whatever, but, like, I got you on my camera. I got you on your own ring camera that I screen recorded. I still got the screen recording. I said, I could put you in jail. You know if you go to jail for this, you're going to jail for decades, my nigga. You stole from a nigga who gave you everything, nigga. What's up with you? The police is waiting for me to bring them some shit because they're going to run a warrant on her shit to see if she's deposited anything. If she deposit anything, she's going to jail. She breaks down. She admits it. She says, I'm sorry. I only stole it because my feelings was hurt. I was going to bring it back. You know that bullshit. Here's what my dumb ass do. I take her back. I tell her ass. I said, bring my, I said, put all my money in a bag. Half a million dollars, get on the next plane in the morning and bring my half a million dollars back to my crib. She did that, to be honest. I got my money back. That never went to the cops. But this is why I'm even still thinking, why would a bitch like this that I've spared you jail, prison, play with me? Why would you think you have some shit over me? Okay. So I get my money back. She's apologizing. She's like, yo, I was just heard. I was going to give it back. I'll ask y'all the question. I know there's some females watching me. You say you mad because a nigga done cheated on you. You take half a million dollars cash from that nigga, 500000 If he don't find out, are you bringing it back? You answer that question for yourself. By the way, she took the money in June when she first moved to Houston. I got that money back in like October. <laughs> it's not like, oh yeah, I took it for like a couple days. <laughs> Nigga, they just had this shit for, for months. <laughs> so I ain't gonna lie. That's a really dumbass thing for me. And um, whatever y'all might say about me because of that, that's true. That's true. But let's get to it again. This is probably the last thing.
This is probably the last thing. So, oh, oh, and by the way, oh, I, I, I know what. Oh, her next thing is gonna be because I, I know how she acts. She's gonna try to act like, oh yeah, you've been like beating me up, my nigga. Stop it, my nigga. Like we got camera footage and everything of you trying to like violate me, my nigga. Stop it, bro. Like we're not about to sit here and just even listen to you. You know, we be like, oh no, no, act been beating me. So like I've been, uh, I, I gotta steal his money. Uh, 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 the, my nigga, how could you even? You shouldn't even be trying to steal from a nigga like. And by the way, for the people who are saying, so the girl who friend had her boyfriend try to come rob you, she also stole half a million from you. Yes, it's true. Here's the last part. And I'm going to get off stream after this. This bitch on my bumper about everything. Yo, you did this, you did that, blah, 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 blah. One day, this after she come back from Houston. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you how to shoot because some girls are going to be like, nah, in reality, y'all ain't together. But let me just tell you how I view things. Man, I ain't on that Jada Waiter shit where y'all be like, yo, oh, no, we was on a break, so I did my dirt. Man, I don't never go through a bitch phone because to keep it real, I be telling people I'm the prize type shit. One motherfucking day, though, shorty got drunk as fuck because she's a drunk. And I went through a phone. My nigga. We could probably just end the story there. <laughs> this chick, the most filthiest, download dirtiest. My nigga. Shorty was cheating on, on a nigga with a nigga on the practice squad for the Jets. And he got, the nigga got cut from the practice squad. Nigga, I felt so embarrassed I couldn't even admit, to, admit it to y'all. But I'll tell y'all today. <laughs> yo, the, yo, she was cheating on a nigga on the practice squad of the Jets. I promise y'all. I swear. The nigga didn't got cut from the practice squad. Nigga, this shit was so embarrassing. So anyway, you know, obviously, and, and you're probably like, damn, man, why the fuck... She was like, oh, well, remember you had broken up with me? Man, fuck that breakup shit, nigga. Like, nigga, you know, you know when you back and forth into it with somebody, nigga, we ain't break up. Cut, cut that shit out, nigga. She was like, oh, so uh, recently, and I, I'll tell you where even recently, where like, because I've told her she brought, like, she had took my puppies, and she was like, oh, yeah. Uh, like, after she got sent to the fucking hospital for the drinking, she came with her parents. I flew her parents up here because this bitch is like a fucking terrorist. She don't want to leave. She's like, well, if I'm leaving, I'm taking my puppies. I'm like, bro, you know those are my dogs. I pay for all the dogs. Well, my name's on the... Right, you can take it, bro. Just leave Pluto. Pluto's my, Pluto's my nigga. Like, me and Pluto go back from, like, day one. I say, take all them other fucking dogs, nigga. Include, that's why you ain't see the little other dogs. I say, take the rest of them motherfuckers, man. As long as I got Pluto, I'm kicking it, nigga. Okay, she took them. Then, you know... The cloud chaser and weird old bitch she is. I got tickets to Travis Scott shit and a bunch of other shit. She run come back with the dogs. So anyway, I had told her because she, like she contends. Nah, I was on a break when anything happened. And I'm like, are you lying? Um, so I told her, I said, yo, I need like to keep it real. The only way I could even deal with your ass is like. I need full access to all your shit. Like, I, and I never really have no full access to no bitch shit. I really don't give a fuck. But like, just cause I'm like, yo, bro, I'm just not gonna be taking a fool. You're fucking a nigga who's literally making three hundred dollars a month, and I even gonna cap with you, like, bro. There's so much more shit. Like, I don't even want to get into though. And yes, by the way, all this shit does make me look weird, lame, and whatever the case is. But I'm gonna always tell my truth. I just don't care. Um. Recently, she was just on some shit like, yeah, nigga, I ain't, nigga, fuck what you want, nigga, I ain't about to give you shit, nigga, I'm like, alright, man, you about to be on your, your shit, so I told her, I said, listen, keep it real, me and you not together, bro, like, nigga, bro, put it like this, she the only weirdo bitch that went from fucking a nigga who's up tens of millions to a scammer in Houston, a nigga on the practice squad and random niggas like random but like I, I mean random but like you know I was stupid I remember she said this to me once and I believe it she said yo act I'm dating academics I could never fuck another nigga without him telling you 
Bro, you know how she got around that? Just don't fuck anybody lit in the industry. She fucked the bummest niggas possible. Like, the niggas who got... Yo, like, this is the part, and I'm going to end the story with this. Bro, I went through her phone, nigga. She was cash apping the niggas. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you're fucking niggas. You're sending money? I'm done with you, bro. Like, it's over. But anyway, uh, I just had to tell my full truth today. Uh, this has been a good stream. And um, listen, whatever you think about me and think about whatever you've heard today, it is the reality and it is my life. Listen, I'll be the subject of the conversation for the next couple months or the next couple days. And I don't care because you know why? A bitch will never hold shit over me. And by the way, if she does try to come back with some shit like, oh, yeah, you've been putting hands on me. Come on now. Let, like, go look at the police report. The cops been in the crib 40 times. They took you away. 40 times <laughs> 40 times you're 40 and all <laughs> we'll leave that at that okay chat love y'all peace you can end stream